upping the charge against a teenager accused of killing his mother. Prosecutors increased it from second to first degree premeditated murder. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig uncovers some surprising developments in the case from Farmington Hills. Nada Harani and her husband were in the middle of a divorce when investigators say their teenage son murdered her. And today in court, the medical examiner testified that it wasn't the fall out of that window that killed her. We started noticing that the positioning of her body was not what you would expect from someone falling out of the window. It was early on in their investigation that police say they realized that the death of the 35-year-old Farmington Hills mother of three was no accident. Prosecutors say 16-year-old Muhammad al Tanawi murdered his mother. And today, a forensic pathologist from the medical examiner's office testified that Nada's primary cause of death was asphyxiation from smothering. In your opinion, doctor, this happened before or after the body falling out of the window? My observation indicates that it happened before. According to Nada's divorce attorney, she believed her son may have been sympathizing with her estranged husband, who apparently thought she was straying away from their traditional Muslim lifestyle and becoming too Americanized. Defense attorneys for the teenager suggested his mother's death was just an accident, a fall out of a second story window when Nada was cleaning it. But the officer who was first on the scene that day says he quickly spotted clues that this could be foul play, including the fact that Nada's body was face up with her feet facing away from the the house and then there was something about how calm the teen was even moments after he saw his mother's lifeless body on the patio. I didn't really have any emotion about speaking about finding his mother on the back patio. Mm -hmm. No decision was made today on whether the teenager will stand trial in the murder of his mother. We are told the defense is still waiting for some photographs from the medical examiner before proceeding. We will certainly keep you updated. In Farmington Hills, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.